Okay. So good morning, guys. Today is the 28th of September. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. And um, I have, I'm sure that that should be a tomato behind me, right in here. I have a banana and, you know, just you know, just something fun behind me, okay? So I'm not the only one here. Anyway, so um, before we start, we have some announcements from our side. Okay, so the first announcement is this. I shared um, a Google Sheet yesterday, okay, on Rocket Chat, and um, I've checked it this morning. We've had 34 submissions. I am sure the class size is 47. So we have not a lot, but we have quite a few amounts of people whose name are still missing. So I am going to share the link here again. And if you have not yet done it, please just fill in your name, okay? We want you to just tell us how you would like your name to look on the certificate. So you know it's going to be an official document, so it should be in line with every other official document that you've had. Okay, so I've shared that in the chat box. Okay, so the next thing that I want to remind you about is the very short Google form that I also shared yesterday. It's only two questions, okay? We need a commencement speaker for Friday. It's only two questions, so we are looking for someone, you know, to give the speech. So if we have a tie, um, then we are going to host a poll. But so far, as I can see, um, we have someone in the lead. So if we don't have any tie, then definitely that person is going to host the, um, the graduation speech. But we want to get it ready by today. We don't want to leave it until tomorrow. And then it's going to be a little bit, you know, chaotic, just trying to get people ready to, you know, give the speech. Also, if you have anything that you would want to showcase for the graduation, you know, um, if you would want to dance, obviously Blaze and um, Blaze and Jackie, that your your playlist definitely is going to be the official playlist for the graduation. Thank you for that. Um, but any other thing, because it's our day, okay? It's our day. It's our our time to just say it's been three months and we're happy about that, okay? So if you have anything, you know, any cultural. Um, you know, think that you want us to see anything about your culture, about your customs, please just let us know. Just let me know. Um, the the um, interim submission is due, okay? So be on the lookout for that. And um, please, for this morning, if you have any questions for um, Abu Bakr, it's, <laughs> it's almost the end of the training. It's almost the end of the training. So feel free ask as many questions as you possibly can imagine. Just Let's just ask questions as possibly as we can think about, okay? Just ask and ask and ask away, okay? So um, if any other announcement comes up, definitely I'll run it by before the end of, the, of this morning's stand-up, okay? He's doing the AMA today, actually. He's doing, he's the host in the AMA today, actually. So yeah, so let's get into it. So, um, how are we doing? So I'm going to start the ball rolling. I I think we lost uh, Etiana, so just let's go into the update, the usual update. So who's wants to look at it? So just going to be the normal um, 
update we just want to know how you fed and um, what you were able to get done um, yesterday any blockers you are um, facing and what you plan on working on today so who wants to start today we need ants just before that is given here Come here. It's Kevin uh, from the team. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So I just I just want you to give an update on the machine. So if it's already. Um. Yeah. Everyone has has been added to an instance, and these instances have been created in the groups that you guys had in week nine. Uh, so everyone should access their uh, particular instances and um we've installed airflow for you um you haven't installed dbt but if there is any other software that you haven't installed for you uh feel free to reach out uh, to me and let me know and i'm going to install it for you but if you have any other issue feel free to reach out and i'm going to assist you with that particular issue but your instances should be ready you should just as a search into them and build your projects as you're supposed to great Thanks, thanks, Kevin. So hopefully it was the discussion that came out from yesterday that a number of people were struggling um, in setting up, mostly because of like Docker taking some time. So hopefully you will not have that issue. So just let's know if you have already connected or if you whatever, but then give us the updates just from now, like based on that into account. Okay, Yatiana, like back to you as well. Just you can take over. Yeah, thank you. So my family just died on me. So that's a good time to announce that to Claudia. Okay, so um yeah, so uh who wants to who wants to go next? Who wants to just who wants to go next? Because I'm not sure if anyone has gone because I was not here. No, it's just a start. Kevin, oh, okay. gave an update. Kevin gave an update that the machine on AWS is set up so that people can. Yesterday, we had a comment from a number of people that Docker was an issue. So, uh, setting up at least in the environment mostly because when it's not working, then it takes time to load and stuff because of the size. So that is now addressed. So just let's start hearing updates from everyone. This is only three days. Thursday is the submission. And therefore, we, um, no, if I'm, 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 I may be making it up. Sorry, just let me check. Is, is the submission still on Saturday or on, on Thursday? So it's just. There is an interim submission today, and the final yes. submission is on Thursday. OK, great. So just uh, then I'm right. So as you can see it in the challenge document, I'm also now referring to the challenge document that it is slightly different because we want to graduate on um, on Friday. And that means we need to complete everything by Thursday. And so the entry, the usual entry on Wednesday has been moved to today. And then the one uh, on, on Saturday moved to Thursday. So you should be done by Thursday. Hopefully, because the challenge that you solved this last time is already, you know, there's no conceptual challenge here. It's just only immigration, so hopefully you, it should be fine. But try your best to try to get everything done um, on Thursday and then the stream today, right? So let's hear. Yesterday we heard a number of people about their challenge. We try to address most of them. And if there is any outstanding or those people who are who were not there yesterday, take this opportunity um, to give us an update where you are, if you understand or if you don't understand, and whether you are able to finish. Um, the submission or like the entry submission today, and if it's anything blocking you, just to you guys. Okay, thank you so much, Yabobel. So, guys, um, do we have anyone who wants to just start the ball rolling? You know, um, probably as Yabobel said, you missed out on yesterday's session. So, do you have a burning question? Is there anything you would love to get settled? Um, because you know, interim submission is due today. So if you've had any blocker, any challenge, anything, now is the time. Let's just ask away. Anyone? Okay, 
Zalalem. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, yes, yeah, so like Abubal said, the main challenge for the last week was like uh, a Docker thing using Dockerizing our uh, the tools and running it on our local machine was a uh, struggle. So now that we have uh, uh, AWS setup, today my focus will be uh, dockerizing uh, every tool as a one, like as a one project as a single. I was trying on my machine to dockerize each single uh, tool. So for today, I plan to uh, try dockerizing everything uh, as a single project and uh, also migrating from uh, MySQL to Postgres. Uh, and uh, my question was like, there is no, uh, how much is expected on the GitHub code for the today's submission? It just says like a link to GitHub code. So how much is expected for the code in today's submission? Uh, this is my update. Okay. Great. Thank you for so I, I'll just address that one. So the the whole point, if you look at the task, yes, it's partly again our fault. We should have make it very clear. Um, but so if you look at completing the following tasks, is at least task one. Um, it's kind of change your local tech stack and then compare the existing and new vendors by the functionality. So if you do one point A already, that's sufficient. But if you are able to, as we said, at least you, you need to define and start writing uh, the scripting part. So if you could just demonstrate at least that you are about to migrate or you're writing a script uh, that is migrating, that is, or you're structuring your code in that way, that is sufficient. So you should label them like migrate something, migrate something, migrate Postgres, migrate, um, um, dbt migrate uh, let's say redash so even if like you are working on that and we are clear then it should be fine but as it says in the report which lists you also need actually the most important part in the report is that you are kind of understanding at least to which you are you are kind of migrating so which list the pros and cons of the two tech stacks that's postgres and superset for example as compared to uh, mysql and redash so at least that one, you, you need to understand. And then if you are working on that, the code demonstrate that that should be sufficient. But thanks for raising that point. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much, Yarubo, for that. So um, do we have any other person who has anything? In terms of mission is today, so it's either you have something blocking you or probably there's something you need clarification on. So, yeah. that... so I, th I think yeah, it's not a question of do we have anyone, uh, someone, it's just they have mm -hmm. everybody will except just that we don't have that much time, right? So let them fight for it to update. To oh. update. Okay, okay, so um, very good, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, how are you? Uh, yeah, like yesterday, uh, we have a discussion with the upbound and upbound to show that we can have access to the AWS instance. So I was trying to use that one like late night uh, yesterday. And I was able to load my data in some of uh, the configurations here. But uh, one of the problems that I was facing was uh, like when you run Docker version, that you specify ports that you will use, and every time when you like instance that one, it will say the ports are in use with, like it cannot instantiate this, like for instance my script or something, and I was trying to change that one and try to use different ports, port forwarding techniques to load that one. Uh, hopefully, I will figure out that one uh, by then, and. Yeah, uh, one of the great things is like when you make changes, it, it would not take you like longer as if you are working on your local machine. So that gives me hope that I can uh, figure out that one and work 
to work with that one. And the other thing that I was working was, I was a little bit doesn't understand the data that was given before. And now I'm trying to load different data sets, like uh, four data sets to the database and uh, try to figure out, uh, to create a good um, transformation for that so that I can, when I migrate out, it will be easy for me. Uh, this is my best so far. Wonderful. Just, but I could maybe just uh, ping, like post it in Rocket Chat as well as also ping uh, Kevin, just so that he can look at it while you are also trying to solve it. Just so okay. that in case like you couldn't, then he was, he's able to help you. Or he could just give some hints. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for that very good. So update guys, update anyone. Elias, thank you. Good morning. How are you? Morning, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we do hear you. Okay. So yesterday I started working on migrating the SQLs for MySQL to Postgres and also trying to migrate the database. So like a couple of things that were confusing for me was like for example in my scale we have just used a couple of statements and like the migration script we are going to write are they going to be general that can transform any my scale into postgres sql or like should they just work for our specific case and our sql schemas only so that was one of my question and the other thing is i was also waiting on the update for like how to transform the reader yeah, so I think I would say to not make it complex, just work for your case. I think that's more like kind of achievable, very easy. So at least it should work. And if you can make it that part to be general, that is a bonus, great. Um, yes, and then we'll get back to you on the super set and redash configuration still. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Tony, go ahead. Yeah, but there was Jakinda before, so just um, I haven't seen it before. Okay, so Jakinda, so you go then, Tony. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so I've tried to set up the AWS, uh, and uh, I tried to to run the Docker file for my Airflow, but uh, it's bringing me an error, so I pinged Kevin. I'm also trying to make a good. Uh, dbt models uh, as i watch videos on how to make the migration most videos are just uh, using the uis and stuff so i hear we're supposed to make scripts so i've also started uh checking out uh, what i can use to 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 do the migration so yeah that's my update okay thank you for that Uh, so I did my migration yesterday, but I used PG Loader uh, library and it worked fine. But I don't know how I'm supposed to def uh, document that because it's just a bash script. Like I just run uh, a script in my terminal or two scripts, just two scripts. And I was able to move all the data from my scale to Postgres. So I don't know. And now that everyone is saying we're supposed to use scripts, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, Abu Bakar, do you want to address this? Do you have something? Um, I, I think that using the PG loader is one way to do it, but you would, you probably won't understand the intricacies that goes into like migrating from one database to the other. You're supposed to, like if you have like a migration service, say a, a script that automatically reads your um, schemas in SQL and MySQL, and then converts that schema to a Postgres um, um, readable um, format that would like um, ensure a proper uh, migration and then that's like an um a simple and automated way of um, doing it so that's like my thinking around it i think you should have like a my, my migration service that runs a particular 
um, scripts and not using uh, uh, a specific tool to do it. Okay, Twain, and I guess that would have answered your question. Okay, so update, update. Anyone else? Anyone else? Ah, it's Friday is the graduation. We don't expect the room to be this quiet on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Any update? Okay, so we have to go through the usual route again, and I have to select from people we haven't heard from. So um, let's hear from let's hear from Kumbani. Kumbani, just give us an update. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, my internet is my internet is bad, so I might drop off. Oh. But I'll, yeah, but um, yesterday I when they gave us the AWS, yeah, that was that was really good because like you had to like the, the the issues that I had with setting up things on Windows was uh were like very hopeful like now it's over. So yeah, so I tried setting up some containers yesterday and I was facing some issues. So I talked to Kelvin and uh, I fixed most of the issues. So today. I'll probably try to replicate the project, like um, setting up everything from last week and then try to you know, continue with migrating, maybe in the afternoon or so. That's my update. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that update. Okay, so let, let's hear from Stacey. Stacey, how are you? Uh, hi, uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm I'm doing okay. I've uh, I've managed to to install Postgres in my SQL, and I use the GUIs to to see, yeah, what I wanted to see. And now I'm just trying to migrate. Uh, I was also thinking of using the loader. Uh, but I think I have to write a script. So that's what I'll work on today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we still have time. So let's hear from let's hear from Amma. Amma, are you here? If you are talking, you're muted. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. So for my case, I think we have the same, uh, almost the same progress because I had uh, identified the BG loader as well. And that is the approach that I was to take. But again, we, uh, we have to write a script. So that is what I'll work on today. But yesterday I've been able to install Postgres and you know, of my uh, AWS working. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, thank you for that, Amon. Thank you so much. So let's hear from Michael Gakko. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well by good. How about you guys? I'm good. I'm good. All right. So from my end, I mean, um, I think the past um, two weeks has has been like quite a hectic week for me. And um, during the last week, I tried um getting involved with some of the um challenges. I was able to do a few, and I scheduled some calls with um uh, some colleagues. But I think the timing wasn't well for us. So. Anytime they come online, I wouldn't also be online and all that. 
So um, this morning, I decided that I think the, the best option for me now is <clears throat> ask them for their code so that I'll do code reviews by myself and see how they handle those those um those stacks that I'm actually trying to figure out, particularly um with the airflow and then the DBT stuff. So I think that's what I'm trying to do now. And then I'm uh, <clears throat> also uh, I'm I'm getting a reply to um Arun, Arun's um, email about the profiles. So um, that's what I'm I'm planning to do today. Okay, okay, sounds like you have a busy day ahead of you. So yeah. all of this with that, yeah. So we have a few minutes. Um, Abraham, I saw that you had raised your hand. Okay, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, yeah, yesterday uh, I tried to read and understand what the challenge document says about the task we're gonna work. Uh, uh, I think uh, most part of this week challenge is related to the past week. Uh, so, uh, and we had a tutorial session in the afternoon. As Yabival mentioned, uh, there was a discussion on the challenge and blockers that we faced when we work all last week. And also, uh, what are the blockers that will happen in the future? Uh, then finally, we got answer for our questions. So uh, for today, I'm trying to work on the challenge. So now uh, we have a permission to work on AWS instance. I think it's good thing for us to work. So uh, uh, if I have uh, uh, any blockers, uh, I will ask on Rocket Chat. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you so much for that update, Eva. Okay, so let's hear from, let's hear from uh, Kairat. And after Kairat, we're going to hear from Jermaine, and that should be it for this morning's stand-up. So after Kairat, we are going to hear from Jermaine. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I wasn't able to cover a lot yesterday. Am I, like, is it clear? I don't know if my speaker is clear enough. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Claire. Okay, all right. <clears throat> yesterday, yeah, I wasn't able to cover... You? I am good, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Um, yesterday I wasn't able to cover a lot because I had like some other things I was running around doing, but I was able to go through the links from the resources and um, check out how to go about it. And I'm just, I'm just informed about the instance that has been created, so I'll just set that up. So I think that should make it's much faster at least for installations and also i'm just going to start the um transferring my data to the postgres and then just work on the task that's just what i have to do today thank you okay thank you for that update Kayat. thank you for that so um the last but not the least person before i just give um, a quick Quick update of the announcement. Um, morning, Yati and everyone. Morning, Jermaine. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah, we're good. We're good, Jermaine. We can hear okay. you. Yeah, yesterday, uh, I tried to... Yes, yesterday I tried to install some requirements, Postgres, and, and 
I've been looking for some tools to use writing the script to, to migrate from my SQL to Postgres. And I think by today I'll be able to migrate my data. So I'm, I'm installing a tool which will help me to migrate from my SQL to Postgres. And I think that's all for the progress. Okay, okay, Jamil. Thank you so much for that. Okay, guys, so um, if you were not here at the start, so um, I made an announcement on the OK chat yesterday um, for the, the square sheet for your names, how you would love them to look on the certificates, okay? So um, please, if you have not yet filled it out, please try to do so. Okay, and then also I sent out a form, okay, a Google form. It only has two questions, as I said. We need a commencement speaker for Friday. Okay, so please just try to fill it in. If we do not have any time, if we have a clear person that has a lot of, you know, nominations, then obviously that person is going to go up, okay, for the graduation speech. So I've just shared the links again. The one is for the former, the other one is for the spreadsheet. Um, in-team submission is due today, so be on the lookout for that. Um, if you have anything that you would want to do for the graduation, okay, it's our day. Anything, you know, if you want to do a song, you know, a dance, anything, you want to do something cultural, just just ping me on the rocket chat and then we're, we're going to try to arrange it okay so um we are going to move on to the ama so i'm going to stop the morning's recording um but Al, do you have anything you want to add i, I have one just before our room okay just, yeah, well, well, go ahead yeah so i'm just uh, replying to elias so elias the with the one i just shared in in the chat text, then you see how you can create and export uh, dash tape dashboards. This with the query, and then I'm going to just also post some, I, I will just post them also in, in Rocket Chat, but this will give you a way to basically import export uh, kind of dashboards in Redash and uh, Superset. Hopefully you have seen it and it's clear. <clears throat> Okay. So from my side, guys. Go ahead, somebody else was talking. Yeah, I'll think, thank you, I'll, I'll look into it. Okay, from my side, just a request. If um, I asked and I got zero, literally 0.0, 0 responses, um, I'd like to know what, what support we can provide in terms of career resources. So we finish on Thursday, it doesn't mean that we're totally done. We still want to support everyone to get into the first job. Um, I'm sure there's stuff that we're missing, so ping me. Or write in the career questions channel. Okay, thank you for that, everyone. So I'm going to stop this morning's calling. But guys, don't don't go away because we have Abu Bakar. Okay. Abu Bakar is going